But I don't understand why they cancelled the race, honestly. <laughs> Come on, you can do a sprint here. Not a problem, huh? Surf. With the surf. <laughs> When there is an opportunity to make a YouTube video about a unique situation in cycling, you know I'm going to be the first to do it. So here we are at the Memorial Pantani, a very hilly race, and uh, the weather is as expected. To put into context, just down the road from where the finish is, Ironman Italy is taking place today, and it is not taking place today. They have moved it to tomorrow, which is something that we don't see in cycling very often, ever. If a race is cancelled, it's cancelled. They can't leave recycling because of road closures and the police, they can't even move a race. Like It's rare that they can delay a race by an hour or a couple of hours because there are certain times, certain road closures that they have to abide by in most countries. So if there is a race cancellation, yeah. Well, what's happening today at Memorial Pantano? We rolled up to the start, uh, ready to go, everyone getting their velo toes on and, and their winter kit. Race informed the director, Coco, this guy, that the first plan of attack would be to drive 50k forwards in the race, on the race course, so skip the first 50k, shorten the race, and start from there. I think in the hope that the weather eases and we uh, start later on. Now, I'll put quickly here a clip of uh, the situation at the start area. Now, we're at the start area, we're 50k into the race, we're ready to go, we're kitted up. And the riders, there's a rider representative on the race, uh, but also the higher higher riders the more sort of older higher profile riders do the they get together and, and do a lot of decision making there's, there's kind of a chaotic link between the management of the race the directors and the riders and information is trickled through so I don't think we're racing today because the weather hasn't eased and if it's too bad at the start it's going to be too bad here. It's actually it's not the rain or the temperature that's the worry here. It's the wind. We've got some. It's, it's stormy. So we're uh, we're sat here looking at a race postponement. It just simply won't run, which is a shame because we're all here. We all want to race, but it is chaotic. It is so chaotic. It's and just there's no real winner out of the day. Like no one. It's just bad for everyone, obviously, the, the fans don't get to see a race, they'll get kitted up, waste a day, all the resources from the teams, for nothing. It's just a real shame to not get some wheels on the road in any capacity. Now, for us personally, we have a team here that isn't quite so suited for climbing. But it's very suited for sprinting. The finishing circuit is a flat loop. Now, quietly, we are hoping that the race gets moved to the circuit and we just do laps, a criterion of sorts, because with Giacomo here, Rick, myself as a, uh, and Yente as the lead out and the competition being Viviani and Chimalai for the sprints, we have a really, suddenly, a very strong shot of winning the race. Um, most teams have bought a full-blown climbing setup. And quietly that would suit us, um, but we all want a race. This has happened a few times in my career. Um, sometimes it's been the riders that have instigated well once in the Giro in 2020, the riders instigated it, uh, we just had enough. And a few other times weather induced uh, race postponement or cancellation. We did again Wevelgum where we, like today, skipped the first 50k and started 50k down the road. But it's, uh, you know, it's a tough situation. It's a lot of waiting. It's just waiting for information, waiting for... You know, to start with, you get rumours, and then you get an official communication. And it's amazing how quickly the rumour mill spreads. One rider will be like, I don't see how we can race. And that third hand will be like, so-and-so said we're not racing, we're definitely not racing. And then next thing you know, you're getting kitted up, and, there's, oh, and then that's what happens. There's generally a last-minute panic. We are racing, and we start in about three minutes, and you're just woefully underprepared, and you've got to get your velo toes on. Which, for anyone that knows, is a bit of effort. So you can see around the bus, Cole, got his fellow toes ready to go. Mason, fellow toes ready to go. Dowson, fellow toes ready to go. Even Zabo has got white fellow toes ready to go. If I'm getting dropped, it's time. <laughs> no, we're just talking about how we're gunning for a criterium today. It's a Marco Pantani memorial race, so it'd be a bit of an insult to Marco Pantani to have a pan flat race, but you know. Suddenly we are the favourites. Suddenly we are the favourites. <laughs> You want to race, AC? Yes, I always want to race. I love the mountains. I love the rain. We do want to race. We do want to race. It's just real anticlimactic if we don't. We just go to the airport and go home. Oh, already here. Look, someone died already. We eat together. Oh. Huh? Good lunch. You know.
Then I go top. Ah, I was so much looking forward to this race. Well, that's that. Race is, race is cancelled. Coco just had official communication. Naturally, that just came straight after an unofficial communication from uh, Pots of Evo. It's a shame. It is a shame. Um, it's a shame mostly for the race. That's that. Italian campaign prematurely comes to an end. We'll all head home now. Um, if riders can get on an earlier flight, they will. Otherwise, we go, we just get on flights that we were, we were ready to get on anyway. <laughs> and the worst bit of all is we now have to take our velo toes off. At least, at least you get a workout for the day. So that's why we didn't race today. Unsurprising. Very. Yeah, that, that was the right call. That was the right call. Now everybody laughing when you guys need to stand. Yeah, all right for you sat in this bus. Oh, the slippers! Already! Nah, did you see how deep it was back there? The signs? Yeah. <laughs> what a legend. I also like how there's no police or anything. Like, yeah. it's just the most known thing in the world. Dude, look at how deep it is right there. It's something like, oh, it's so deep. Yeah, if you parked there, you maybe have a is it wet? What? Come on, take a shower. Quick, take a quick shower. Idiot. <laughs> uh, is that she's she's actually trying to get in her car over there? <laughs> 